til det er tror jeg. Og hvad er det for? Hvad er det kids for? Hvad er det 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 for? Boom. Or you can go as far as boom, that thing out there. Good. This is tricky though. You don't have to do this. It helps you keep timing, but it also draws attention away from your drawing hand. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'll just build that in there sooner than later, which is because I'm already doing it because I, I naturally know it now. So I'm boom. So it goes. So in my in my brain, what's happening really fast is it goes one, two, three. Does that make sense? So then they think this is where it's at, but no, it's really this is where it's at. Does that make sense? But I'm drawing their attention up here. There's also this hand lets me keep it up for shielding if I need to in the future as well. Right? So now here's where it gets tricky. I'm square. So we do boom one, two. One, two, one, two. What does this remind us of? Right, this hand here, which is also my defense, which is also my huva, right? This idea of these triangles come. So one, two. Why is that important? Because if I stay from here to here, to here, to here. It's a small, it's a small distance, but in defense, time is everything. Does that make sense? The more I can minimize the amount of time it takes me to do one thing, the more likely I'm going to be able to, you know, get to my weapon or do whatever I need to do sooner than the other person. Right? So even if this saves me a half a second or a millisecond. That puts me one step ahead of the curve. Is I'm just going to have you guys at your own pace go from kind of this relaxed position to get to the draw and then bring it out to the target, right? So it's just boom, shooting out to the target and seeing, you know, how you can get that motion in there. Now notice how I'm keeping it flat, and there's a there's a science behind me leading with the butt of the weapon versus leading with the point of the weapon. There's several different reasons. And that is, if he gets that opportunity to get something up or to shy away, then it doesn't get stuck in there because that's not what I want. I don't want his hand. All right? So I'm gonna use, I can hit that thing and damage that thing and then get it to where I can unveil the knife onto that person. Does that make sense? And so there's a science to that or a concept behind it, a strategy. So go ahead and practice that relax, boom, getting in there and see if I can get that draw out in time, all right? Boom, going for that there. Now again, if we want the distraction in there, boom, all right? Boom, get out. If I'm clearing, I actually go in front of myself. So this is where this idea of being able to move this arm out of the way and then bring this in, remember this, versus this, right? Fast, right? Wouldn't feel it at first probably, it would be too fast, right? Um, unless I just straight up stab myself in the hand while I was trying to go there. So me, if I'm clearing that, then I'm coming behind it and then I go out to the target, right? As I clear. So Derek has this opportunity, I'm going to do the slow motion, he comes with the punch, I come in, I go to feed, he puts that hand out there somehow, boom, yeah, I can clear this hand, I got blade on the inside here, then I can go back. Does that make sense? Um, boom, boom, he stops this, I can clear that way, but this way I'm cutting him with blade, boom. Right? I'm using this as the bait, and the hand comes up, boom, 
Yeah. Now, it's not my blade getting stuck in his hand and now I'm like, ah, trying to get this thing out. No, I'm hitting and then I can use the blade to come out and clear. Boom, bam, bam, bam. Right? I can use the blade to come in to slice from there. Does that make sense? Or just like, hey, that's <laughs> So, so all that, all those options is, are there, but that's me keeping this hidden until it comes out and gets me.